Hey guys, it's Spiritual Astrology here, or as some of you guys may know me as Donald Richard III. So today I am going to inform you guys on Mars in Sagittarius. This is an interesting combo. You know, a lot of people might think it's positive because, you know, Mars is fiery and Sag is a fire sign, but in reality, it's not. I'm going to say, I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's not a positive placement because it's not, you know, because let's just be honest. You, I mean, you can't say every placement of Mars in every sign is positive. I'm just expressing my Sagittarius Mars. I'm born with Sagittarius Mars and my Aquarius rising. We just kind of every once in a while want to say F it and, you know, Mars and those signs is kind of too erratic and too all over the place. Now, Mars becomes focused in the two signs next to Mars and Sagittarius. So Mars and Scorpio and Mars and Capricorn are focused. And like I mentioned in the Scorpio video, it heightens your libido and in, in, in Scorpio and Capricorn, and it makes you better at business. Now, Mars and Sagittarius um, is kind of like my moon in Gemini because moon is exalted in Taurus and rules Cancer. So then Gemini's in the middle. Now you take Mars and you have rules Scorpio and it's exalting Capricorn and you put it in the sign in between. It's kind of like, so one thing I have to say on the get go is like having Mars and Sagittarius is like the person shooting arrows all over the place without even looking. Like there's no focus because Sagittarius isn't like focused. It's kind of like naive and happy-go-lucky, so it's like, oh, let me just shoot an arrow over there. But, like, Mars can be, is, is kind of your hidden power, and it can be aggressive. So, Sagittarius um, is, first of all, impatient. A Sagittarius, Mars is very impatient, and it's not like an Aries impatience that will kind of have some sort of thing to focus on. It's just all over the place. It has a lot of, it'll, Mars and Sagittarius, you'll have a lot of projects and you won't necessarily finish them. You'll be excited to start them. Finishing them will be a problem unless you have something else really do, tying you down in your chart. I know with me being a Capricorn, it's kind of difficult with the Sagittarius Mars because it's, it's like I don't want to continue everything. I mean, both, all the mutable signs are kind of not able to be starters and finishers. So with Mars and Sagittarius, you'll either want to start things or want to finish them. You won't want to do the whole project. You might let someone else get excited about you, but it also makes you opinionated. Mars and Sagittarius, you'll be, you'll have like an, an opinion and you'll tell everyone and you kind of want to force everyone into that opinion. Um, it'll make you restless. You'll have you'll procrastinate. So Mars and Sagittarius is a huge procrastinator. Um, <laughs> it makes you fun and happy-go-lucky, but it kind of also makes you spoiled. You'll kind of be the, an exciting friend and you'll go on little adventures, but um, you'll be blunt uh, when you're upset, especially. You will not want to hear anyone else's opinion when you're upset. Uh, you'll go off on your own. You'll be a, a bit more unpredictable. Um, but yeah, procrastination is a huge thing. Like if you have a sign, if you have a sun sign that wants to start college, university, or start a career, and you really want to do it, your Mars and Sagittarius is just going to be like, nope. Um, it's not going to, it's going to be really difficult because that initial urge and spark in you is not going to line up with you wanting to finish things in life. Yeah, I mean, there are positives and there are negatives. Um, but yeah, Mars and Sagittarius kind of attacks the outer world. And it kind of, when it's angry, it just kind of says things that other people will get offended by and kind of like, I don't care. Anyway, so that's the end of my Mars and Sagittarius video.